Hi, Sarah. Yeah, it was emotional to say the least. Literally over the past 24 hours, as many as 300,000 people have made their way through Hostage Square. And I've been here, you know, almost almost daily. People have been covering, coming, offering support uh, almost every day, but we haven't ever seen anything uh, with this scope. Literally, it was nonstop 24 hours of musicians, of state leaders, of hostages who were released and survived, of the family members. Tonight, we heard from opposition leader Yair Lapid and also from President Herzog. So that was kind of the, the closing speeches of the evening. Also, uh, a really, really emotional speech from Mirav Leshem uh, Gonen, the mother of Romy Gonen, who is uh, speaking a lot on behalf of the families. A very emotional evening, ending with uh, singing Katikva, Israel's national anthem. Um, but among the families that were here that I did have an opportunity to meet um, were the Nutra family. Omer Nutra is the American soldier uh, from Long Island. Island, who is one of the hostages, and his parents, Orna and Ronan, were here. Uh, strangely enough, I interviewed them exactly 50 days ago when I saw them tonight. They said, could you believe it? When you interviewed us last time, it was day 50. It really is just uh, mind-boggling that it's 50 days later, and we still do not have more hostages home. Here's more on the conversation that I had with them earlier, which included uh, they're taking their cause to Washington. I wouldn't say that this was a dream of his. I think he felt it was his duty, as I think would be true for all the children. His, these are kids, right? Um, every single 18-year-old in Israel is obligated to go to the army for reasons that are pretty apparent right now. And um, he felt like he needed to share the burden. He loves Israel. That's, you know, that's, that's true. But I, I don't think it's any but anyone's dream to have to serve in the army. You know, it's, but he it's, doesn't have to. He doesn't have to, but I think he felt that he had to. You know, we're both Israeli Americans. Um, he felt very connected to Israel. He felt very connected to his peer group here in Israel, and I, I truly believe that he felt that it was his duty. It's so, so emotional to hear from from Orna and saying that. I mean, again, he's a young man. He gave up, uh, took a year off from going to college when his friends were going to college because he felt like it was du his duty, both of his parents, Israelis, uh, but living in uh, the U.S. And, and again, like I said, they are taking the case to Washington. They had a two-hour meeting with Biden. They were also part of the delegation uh, to Qatar last week uh, that, you know, spoke to them when they decided to uh, agree to give medicine to the hostages. Still hasn't happened. But at least uh, that seems to be uh, some glimmer of hope for, you know, a, a third of the hostages have some kind of uh, pre-existing medical conditions. Emily Francis. That's all from Hostage Square for now. Emily Francis, thank you very much for that update.